Hi there, it's Saturday the 3rd of July. I think the last two days I said it was June, and if I did, <laughs> forgive me. Days are running into each other. Saturday the 3rd of July, 2021. We're calling the church to pray. Join us in prayer. Each day we'll be putting out prayer podcasts over the summertime. We'll be looking at some of the scriptures and Sundays about one another in scripture, loving one another, caring for one another, etc. As we seek to bring the body of God's people at Hope Hall together again, united in purpose to serve not just one another in the church, but to serve the community and to bring people to a knowledge of Jesus for themselves. That's what we're called to do. That's why we exist. That's why we are a church. In many ways, there's no other purpose to us. In many senses, there's no other purpose to us in being a church if we are not serving and bringing one another and bringing the church community to God. And we begin by doing that in prayer. We're looking at one of the scriptures in Ephesians 6, 18. This morning it says this, And pray in the Spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all the Lord's people. There's a lot of of the use of the word all there. Did you notice that? Pray in the Spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. Be alert and always keep on praying for all the people. We should always be praying on all occasions, at all times, for all people. But in particular for the Lord's people at Hope Hall is what we are concentrating on this summertime. And so would you pray with us, please? Pray for us. Pray for the people at Hope Hall that we would be a powerful witness, that we would come together, that where we are apart, we would be brought together, that where there is division, there would be unity, where there is bitterness and sadness, that there would be love and peace and joy, that where there is unforgiveness, that there would be forgiveness, that where there are wounds, that they would be healed, that we would be one body together and that we would fulfil this great commission which we have as God's people in Hope Hall, to go into all the world and to make disciples of all nations, starting with (laughs) Paisley, round about our community here in the south end of Paisley, all the way through the rest of Paisley, into Renfrewshire, into the very further borders of Renfrewshire, and even beyond that to Scotland and to the nations. But we need to pray and pray and pray and pray and keep on praying. Join me in this prayer as I pray a line. Maybe you just want to pray it out loud after me. Father God, thank you for calling me to pray today. Thank you for the power of prayer. Thank you that prayer changes things. Thank you that I can pray right now. That I can pray at all times, on all occasions, for all people. But today, oh God, I want to pray in particular for God's people at Hope Hall. I pray that you would bless them. I pray that you would bless them with your spirit. I pray that you would bless them with unity. I pray that you would bless them with forgiveness. I pray that you would bless them with all the fruit of the spirit and all the gifts of the spirit, that they would be an effective church and an effective body in this area of Renfrewshire. And I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you again for your prayers. Every prayer is powerful and effective. Tune in tomorrow for our live service and then for our podcast as they restart um, on the Monday and then pray through those prayer points through the rest of the week. God bless you. See you again soon. Bye.